Phenoxybenzamine is a drug that blocks alpha adrenergic receptors, commonly used in the treatment of pheochromocytoma. In this pneumonic video, we'll cover the mechanism, clinical use, and adverse effects of phenoxybenzamine, so you'll be ready to nail it on test day. Welcome to the 1950s, the era of mob bosses, diners, and classic cars. Mobsters are always making phone calls, and they never do it from their own landlines. No, no, no. They use phone booths, which are untrackable, right? Conveniently, this diner's got a phone box right outside. Let this phone box anchor you to the topic of our video, phenoxybenzamine. Get it? Phone box for phenoxybenzamine? Or phone box benzamine, if you will? It seems that our mobster has just finished a job and is using the phone box to make a call to the big mob boss. You can tell the job's done by those knocked-out guys inside the diner. In the scuffle, it appears that a bottle of A1 sauce has fallen onto the table. Here at Pixarize, A1 sauce is our recurrent symbol for alpha-1 receptors. Get it? Since A1 just stands for alpha-1, right? And this A1 sauce is knocked over to represent how phenoxybenzamine irreversibly blocks or antagonizes A1 receptors. Phenoxybenzamine works as a potent blocker of alpha-1 receptors, which prevents alpha-1 effects like systemic vasoconstriction. In typical gangster fashion, the guys inside were having some alligator stew before they got knocked out. And this alligator stew is now spilled all over the table. At Pixarize, alligator stew represents alpha-2 receptors, since alligator stew sounds a bit like alpha-2, right? And this spilled alligator stew represents how the alpha-2 receptors are blocked or inhibited by phenoxybenzamine. So, altogether, these two knocked-over food items should remind you that phenoxybenzamine acts as a general alpha-blocking drug, antagonizing both alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. Now that we know how these drugs function, let's talk about their clinical use. Finally, see the chrome car the mobsters drove in with that phoenix on their hood? By the way, this phoenix on a chrome car should remind you of pheochromocytoma. Since phoenix kind of reminds me of pheochromocytoma, right? This should remind you that phenoxybenzamine is mainly used in the treatment of pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma is caused by excess catecholamine levels in the body, which go on to activate alpha-1 receptors to cause vasoconstriction and elevation of blood pressure. Phenoxybenzamine works to block alpha-1 signaling, preventing the vasoconstriction and hypertensive crisis seen in pheochromocytoma. Make sense? Let's move on. Before we close, let's briefly touch on a few side effects you should know. Take a look back in the diner at our passed out guys on the table. Let these woozy diner patrons represent the orthostatic hypotension or postural lightheadedness that can be caused by phenoxybenzamine as a side effect. This hypotension results from antagonism of alpha-1 receptors, which induce vasoconstriction to increase blood pressure especially in response to changes in body position. Blocking alpha-1 receptors can block these blood pressure control mechanisms, which can reduce perfusion to the brain and thereby cause lightheadedness or orthostatic hypotension. Make sense? And that's it for phenoxybenzamine. Let's recap. Phenoxybenzamine is a non-selective alpha antagonist that blocks both alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. It is commonly used for the treatment of pheochromocytoma. The most common adverse effect is orthostatic hypotension due to alpha-1 blockade. We're all done. Although a little violent, this 50s scene really gave me a hankering for some diner food. I'm going to grab some pancakes and meet you in the next video. See you there. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.